Okay, in this video, we're going to learn about uh, function notation and how to, how to calculate outputs when you're given an input uh, for a, an algebraic function. Okay, uh, so let's say that, uh, so what we often do is we, usually, we often write a letter and then we put a parenthesis and then we'll put a variable inside the parentheses equals. Now, what we have here is, there's F. Um, Inside the parentheses is the input. Outside the parentheses is the output. Okay, and so uh, this is the input and this is the output. F is the output and X is the input. And oftentimes we'll have uh, some kind of mathematical calculation over here, like we might have 10X. This is related to what we did in the last video with the person who worked the hours. Uh, they obviously made $10 an hour because every time, if they worked 17 hours, they got $170. If they worked 23 hours, they got $230, okay? And so this is a function, what we're looking at here, and we know that, that we said that that situation was a function. And so let's say the input is 17 hours. Well, what we would do is we would write the output letter, but instead of writing the input letter, we would just put the input in. We would put the number 17. That's our input. We would put it inside parentheses. So we would say f of 17, the function of 17, the output that goes along with the input 17. Well, the way that we would calculate that is we would rewrite this 10, but instead of writing an x, we would because we replace the x with the number 17, we're going to replace this x with the number 17. And we usually do that in parentheses. And so f of x is equal to 10 times x, and f of 17 is equal to 10 times 17, which is equal to $170. And now you can see our input is 17, and our output is 170. And so if we said, well, what is f of 19 if they work 19 hours? Well, that would be 10 times 19, which would be $190. Well, what about f of 21? Well, that's going to be 10 times 21, which will be $210. Well, what about f of 23? What if they work 23 hours? What if that was their input? Oh, well, that's 10 times 23, which is $230. So the input is 23 hours. The output, f, is 230, okay? And so essentially, this is how we uh, how we use function notation, and then how we calculate outputs when we're given numerical inputs. Let's try a couple more examples. Okay, so let's say that our function is capital H of X, and it is defined, okay, the input is X, the input is just X, but the output is defined by 2 times the square of X, plus 5 times x, and then minus 7. And we are given three inputs, negative 3, 0, and 4. And we want to know the outputs that go along with these three inputs. So to find the output that goes along with the input of negative 3, we would say h of negative 3. And so we would write this, 2, but then instead of the x, we would put negative 3 in parentheses. So we're literally replacing the letter X with the input inside of parentheses, and then we'll put the square on the outside of the parentheses, because here the square is on the outside of the X. Then we'll put plus, then five, and then in place of the X, we'll put parentheses negative three, and then we'll put minus seven, okay? And so here, Negative 3 squared, negative 3 times negative 3, that's 9. Okay, so we have 2 times 9, and then 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So we'll put minus 15, then minus 7. 2 times 9 is 18, minus 15, minus 7. 18 minus 15, that's 3. 3 minus 7, that's negative 4. And therefore, h of negative 3 is going to be negative 4. And so we would have this input-output pair, negative 3 goes along with negative 4, okay? What about 0? Well, we'll plug 0 in the same way. We'll rewrite this, only instead of putting negative 3 in the parentheses, we'll put 0 in the parentheses. 
So we'll have 2 times 0 squared plus 5 times 0 minus 7. Well, 0 squared is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. And 0 times 2 is 0. 5 times 0 is also 0. And then minus 7. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 minus 7 is negative 7. And therefore, 0 goes along with the output negative 7. Okay? Now we'll do 4. We'll rewrite it 2 times 4 in parentheses, then squared on the outside, plus 5 times 4 minus 7. Well, 4 squared is 16, and 2 times 16 is 32. 5 times 4 is 20, so that's plus 20, and then minus 7. And so, 32 plus 20 is 52, minus 7 is 45, and therefore the input 4 is associated with the output 45. Okay, Let's do just one more example. Okay, so this time we have a rational function. Okay, So g of x is equal to the negative of x plus 1 over x minus 5. And if we want to know what g of 0 is, we'll put a 0 here and a 0 here. Now do not forget this negative here. So it's going to be the negative of 0 plus 1, put that in parentheses, over parentheses 0 minus 5. 0 plus 1 is 1. So we're, we're going to put this negative up here. Negative 1 over 0 minus 5 is negative 5. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so this becomes 1 fifth. And so input is 0, output is 1 fifth. Okay? For g of 13, we would have negative and then 13 in parentheses plus 1 over 13 in parentheses minus 5. 13 plus 1, that's, well, don't forget the minus. We'll put the negative here. 13 plus 1, that's 14 over 13 minus 5. That's 8, so we have negative 14 over 8. But 14 over 8 can be reduced. They, 14 can be divided by 2, and 8 can be divided by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7, so we have negative 7 over 8 divided by 2 is 4, and so this is negative 7 over 4. So when the input is 13, the output is negative 7 over 4. For an input of 6, we're going to do negative parenthesis 6 plus 1 over parenthesis 6 minus 5. Okay, And so we have negative 6 plus 1 is 7. 6 minus 5 is 1, and 7 divided by 1 is just 7. So this is negative 7. And so an input of 6 gives us an output of negative 7.